What's going on everyone? This is Preston here and this is my NASCAR 2024 Cup Series winner predictions. And before I start, I just want to let you guys know that I did not include the Clash or the All-Star Race just because of the fact that I want to do only the points races and for the in the Clash and the All-Star Race, not all not all full-time drivers are going to be and are going to be entering for this race or entering those two races. So yeah, that's why I'm only going to be doing the points races. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. And this is just this is just my opinion. So if you guys disagree with me on any of these, that is 100% fine. I want to know what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think will win each race. So anyways, let's get started with my predictions. So first up is the Daytona 500. And my Daytona 500 pick is Chris Buescher. The reason why is just because of the fact that RFK Racing has been so good when it comes to super speedway races. And Chris Busher and Brad Kosowski towards the end of this race work together. So, yeah. So, I I, I think that Chris Busher is going to break through to get back-to-back -back Daytona wins. Well, his second Daytona win in a row because he won the Coke 0400 last year. And now he's going to break through and get the Daytona 500 this year. So, in my opinion, Chris Busher... Well, is my pick to win the Daytona 500. And then Brad Keselowski will finally break, break through and get that first win at RFK Racing. He will he will win the second race of the season at another Super Speedway Atlanta. He's had top five top five speed at Atlanta in the in both two Atlanta races last year and almost won last year's spring race. So the, in my opinion, this is the race that Brad will finally break through and get that first win. At RFK Racing. So RFK Racing will win back to back races. And then race number three will be at Las Vegas, and Christopher Bell is my pick to win it. He almost won this race in the fall of last year. And Christopher Bell, I feel like this is a this is a time where Christopher Bell is gonna show off his his speed early in the season. So yeah, Christopher Bell and Joe Gibbs Racing being good on my own halves. So I'm picking Christopher Bell to win at Las Vegas. And then race number four will be at Phoenix, and then Kyle Larson will be my pick. He's at top five speed and and believe in all Phoenix races in the next gen car. Um, yeah, I feel like Kyle Larson has a really good chance. He's he finished top he finished top five in both races last year, and you feel like he's had. I think this is going to be a really great opportunity. And Kyle Larson, man, I feel like this is going to have a dominant year, dominant race just like last year. Well. I don't think, well, I think he had a dominant race, but he didn't end up winning it. He did finish in the top five last year. So Kyle Larson, he's going to break through and get that first win of the season at Phoenix. And then the spring Bristol, regular Bristol concrete race will be back, and Kyle Larson's going to win it. He's good on that, on that, good on that layout of Bristol, and Kyle Larson is my pick to win it. He's going to go back to back, going to get his second win of the season. And then Chase Elliott is my pick to win Circuit of the Americas, guys. Chase Elliott is really good at road courses, and I feel like he's gonna get get in there and win a race. He's gonna get in there and win, win get his first win of the season. And Hendrick will get his will get their third week win and third win in a row, 2024 to start off the season. So Chase Elliott is my pick to win Circuit of the Americas. And then Christopher Bell is my pick to win Richmond, guys. The first Richmond race. I said Christopher Bell was going to, in my opinion, this year was going to show off his speed early in the year. And he's going to get his second win of the season. I feel like Christopher Bell is going to show you guys like this could be a breakout year for Christopher Bell. But we're just going to have to wait and see. But Christopher Bell, man, um, Joe Gibbs Racing on short tracks has been good. So, yeah. So, in my opinion, Christopher Bell... It's gonna get there. It's gonna get Joe Gibbs Racing second win of 2024, and Christopher Bell second win of the season. And then the Martinsville Spring Race. I'm picking Denny Hamlin. The guy is really, really good at Martinsville. He's finished both top five, top ten in both races last year. In my opinion, I think he finished top five as well. I think he. Not sure if he finished sixth in the Spring Race last year or inside the top five. But yeah, Denny Hamlin is my pick to win the spring Martinsville race, and Joe Gibbs Racing will win back-to-back -back races. So race number eight, Martinsville, Denny Hamlin, my favorite driver is my pick. And then race number nine, Texas, this is where William Byron will win back-to-back, -back. well, Texas races, not events, but this will be um, William Byron will win back-to-back -back Texas races, 
um, William Byron. I feel like he's going to have a really, has, has, he's going to have strong speed there. He's going to fight with Kyle Larson. And it's going to be either a battle between Byron or Larson, but I ended up going with William Byron on this one. So William Byron is my pick to win Texas. And then, just like his teammate Kyle Larson, he's going to go back to back. William Byron is my pick to win at Talladega. Uh, he's been in contention before, and I feel like this is this is going to be a chance where William Byron's going to get through and get that second win of the season. So, yeah, William Byron is my pick to win the um, Geico 500. And then Dover, Ross Chastain is my pick to win Dover, guys. Ross Chastain, he's been in contention. He's been in, I think he's had a top five car, and well, he had a top five car last year. And I think in this 2022, he had a top 10 car, but I'm picking Ross Chastain to win this race. So, yeah, he won on Nashville last year. And he, in the past, in last year, he won at um, tracks that are less than a mile and a half. So, yeah, but Ross Chastain, he's my pick to win Dover, and he's going to get his first win of the season. And then race number 12 at Kansas. I got Ty Gibbs winning this one. Ty Gibbs will get his very first career win. And yeah, guys, just like I said with Christopher Bell and Joe Gibbs in the mile and a half, I feel like this is going to race that's going to be against going to be against Toyota and Chevrolet, mostly with Kyle Larson, just like the past few years. But I'm picking Ty Gibbs to get his first win of the season, guys. It's going to be his first career win, and this will and he'll get the end of the playoffs with this win. So Ty Gibbs is my pick to win at Kansas. And then race 13, Darlington. I'm gonna pick Chris Buescher to get his second win of the season. He's been in, he's finished top five. He's was he's had a top five car in the Southern 500. And I think that that race number 13, Chris Buescher is gonna get the job done. He's gonna get his second win of the season and RFK Racing's third total win of the season. So Chris Buescher is my pick to win the Spring Darlington race. And then we got the Coca-Cola 600. Charlotte, I'm picking Tyler Reddick. Like, like I, like I said with the mile and a half, Toyotas have been very strong there. And 2311 Racing, I see Tyler Reddick getting his first win of the season coming at at Charlotte Motor Speedway, a track that it's mile, it's a mile and a half track that Tyler Reddick last won at, and last won at a mile and a half, which was at Kansas last year. Tyler Reddick, I expect Toyotas, to, ex, mostly 2311 Racing, to have speed, both him and Bubba Wallace, and I think it's going to be a close battle between between who can have who can have the most consistent car, and I feel like Tyler Reddick, he he and that 2311 team, I feel like it's going to be a good good run for them, and Tyler Reddick is going to get his first win of the season. Now we got Worldwide Technology Raceway. That this is when the defending champion makes a return to victory of Lane. Ryan Blaney will get his first win of the season at Gateway. I feel like he's had a good car there. Um, good car there. He finished. He had. A, he was. I think he was in the top five early in this early in this race last year. And William and not William, Ryan Blaney. I feel like this is a race where Team Penske and Ford are gonna get back out there and shine. And Ryan Blaney is gonna get the job done. And Ryan Blaney is gonna get his first win of the season. And then Sonoma, I'm picking Kyle Busch. He finished second in this race a year ago. Well, last year, I should say, to be more specific. Um, yeah, Kyle Busch in that eight car. This is where I feel like this is where Kyle Busch is going to get his first win at Sonoma. Um, I feel like he's, had, he's going to have the car to do it. I feel like his crew chief is going to pull off some strategy to get Kyle Busch out in front and get the win. So Kyle Busch will get his first win of the season. And then I'm picking Kyle Busch to win at Iowa. And most of this, this is mostly because of experience. Because um, Kyle Busch, I know, has raced in the lower series back in Iowa before. And I just feel like Kyle Busch, feel like he has the most experience out of anyone else in the field. So, yeah, that's why I'm picking Kyle Busch to win at Iowa, guys. Kyle Busch is my pick there. And that, I think this will be the very first time the Cup Series has raced at Iowa. And, yeah, guys, Kyle Busch is my pick. Yeah, second win of the season. And then New Hampshire, this is where Joey Logano is going to get his first win of the season. Logano is good at New Hampshire. And I feel like this is another race where I feel like Fords are going to be a factor. So it's mostly, I feel like it's going to be mostly a battle between Ford and Toyota. But Ford is going to get the job done. And Joey Logano is going to get his first win of the season at New Hampshire.
And then Nashville Super Speedway, my pick is Denny Hamlin. He's been really, he's been, um, he's had the top five. He, I think he has one of the, currently has one of the best average finishes when it comes to Nashville. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but the only, I don't know if that is true, but I just feel like, in, well, in this next gen car, not in 2021, excluding that, every race in the next gen car at Nashville, Denny Hamlin has finished in the top 10. So, yeah, in 2022 and last year, not tw not including 2021. So, 2022 and 2023, yeah, guys, I'm picking Denny Hamlin to win this race. I feel like it's going to be a close battle between Truex and Hamlin, though, kind of like the past couple of years. But I'm picking Denny Hamlin to win at Nashville. And then we'll return to the Chicago Street Race. It might happen again. This I'm picking this to happen. I'm picking Shane Van Gisburg to go back to back. It's 100% possible. Like this guy has one has tremendous experience when it comes to street racing, and I feel like Shane. This is a race where Shane Van Gisburg is going to show off his speed, and it's going to be tough. But I almost picked Tyler Reddick. I feel like Tyler Reddick's going to be his closest opponent, but I feel like due to experience. And coming off big momentum, Shane Van Gisbergen, in my opinion, is going to go back to back. He's done it before. He's done it. He's won it last year. What a way it would be if it were for him to win this year. This is kind of like a wild pick here, but I'm going with SVG. And then we got Pocono. Kyle Larson is going to get redemption after what happened last year. I feel like Kyle Larson feels like he's going to have extra motivation heading into this race. Um... So Kyle Larson, I feel like he's going to have a dominant car. Well, not really a dom not really the best car of the field. He probably is going to make some sort of strategy call or maybe if they get a restart, Kyle Larson can just get that clean air and get out to the front. So, yeah, guys, Kyle Larson is my pick to win Pocono. This guy has had, I feel like this guy has had tremendous bad luck over the past two of, two of the last three years. Remember that 2021 Pocono race where Larson was leading, then he had a tire down, and then he and Denny Hamlin got up together, so, last year, so... Yeah, guys, Kyle Larson, he is my pick to win Pocono. He's going to get it done. And then we return to the Brickyard 400 at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This is where Kyle Busch is going to shine once again. Remember last year, Kyle Busch won his very first race at RCR at Auto Club, and it was at a two-mile track. And, yeah, guys, two-and-a-half-mile track for Kyle Busch. I feel like he's going to have I feel like he's gonna have a good car there, and RCR is going to go to victory lane. At the Indianapolis, at Indianapolis, and yeah, Tyler Reddick has won in the eight car and back in 2022, but on the road course layout. But I think Kyle Busch is going to bring that eight car to victory lane and get his third Brickyard 400 win. I could see it happening, guys. Kyle Busch is my pick to win the Brickyard 400. And then race number 23, we go to Richmond for the second time. This is where I'm going to pick Joey Logano to win it again. I feel like Logano is going to have good speed on short tracks. And um, short tracks, short tracks, and shorter ovals, and yeah, I see Joey Logano doing it. I feel like he's gonna pull off a similar move that he did last year, where he was up in the top five, and he's gonna make his way up towards the front later in the race. And I feel like he's gonna have good speed as well. So, yeah, I'm picking Joey Logano to get his second win of the season, and yeah, I'm picking him to win at Richmond. And then race number 24, I'm going with Bubba, Bubba Wallace. The guy has had really good speed in this next-gen car when it comes to Michigan. He led laps. He was close to winning this race in 2022. And I feel like this is the year where Bubba finally breaks through and get that first win of 2024. And it's going to be at Michigan. And, yeah, Bubba Wallace, really good speed. I feel like this is one of Bubba's best tracks. And I feel like he's going to do it, guys. So, yeah, race number 24 at Michigan will be... Bubba Wallace will get the job done. And then we got the Coke Zero Sugar 400. This is where I'm picking Joey Logano once again. This will be Joey Logano's third win of 2024. So Joey Logano, he's black at what he's really good on super speedway races. And especially in the Daytona, and especially in the second Daytona race, guys. Joey Logano has been up front. I think like he won stages in all events. Like he won stages in like at least one stage ever since 20, 2019. I feel like ever since ever since 2019, Joey Legano has won at least one stage in the second Daytona race. And he's going to get through and get that third win of 2024. So Joey Legano will get his third win of the season at Daytona. Legano is going to have a really good stretch of races over the summer. 
And then race number 26, the regular season finale, will be at Darlington. I'm picking Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick had a top five, top five car in the Southern 500. I feel like the Toyotas are going to be going to be have, are going to have good speed. But I feel like feel like um Tyler Reddick, he is going to be battled just. I feel like it's going to be battled between him, Larson, maybe William Byron. But yeah, but I'm picking Dar Tyler Reddick to break through. And this, this will be his, be his second win of the 2024 season. Tyler Reddick will end the regular season finale strong. And now it's time for the playoffs to begin. So, race number 27, the opener. I'm picking Ryan Blaney, the defending series champion, to win at Atlanta. I feel like he's going to have good speed. I feel like he's going to have really good speed at Atlanta. And, yeah, guys, so Ryan Blaney will be my pick to win to, to win the second Atlanta race, and four will be a fourth sweep. And then race number 28 will be at Watkins Glen. This is where I'm going to pick Chase Elliott once again. This will be his second win of the season, and it, this will be his first win since March. So, yeah, guys, race number 28, Chase Elliott is going to have that good Watkins Glen rich experience, and, and yeah, this is where I'm going to pick Chase Elliott. He's, gonna, he's good at Watkins Glen, and I feel like it's going to be a battle between him and Larson, but I'm going to pick Chase Elliott to win this one. He'll get his second win of the season. And then race number 29, the Bristol Night Race, is where I'm going to pick Christopher Bell here. Uh, yeah, I think, like, I think he, won the, he won the poll for this exact race last year. Uh, I feel like he's going to have good speed. Um, I feel like his pick first is going to execute really well. And I feel like he's, he's going to break through and get that third win. This will be his first win since March as well. So, yeah, so Christopher Bell... He's gonna get his he's gonna get his third win of 2024. So Christopher Bell will be my pick to win this race. And now we got Kansas, the second race of the second Kansas race. This is where I'm picking my favorite driver, Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin has finished in the top five in every single Kansas race. Like in every single Kansas race with this next gen car. And this is where I'm gonna this is where Denny Hamlin's gonna shine. I feel like he's gonna have a really good car. It's going to be really fast, just like in the fall race last year. Almost won that fall, almost won the fall race last year. Um, so, yeah, I feel like Denny Hamlin's going to get redemption and going to get finished one spot better than this exact race last year. Denny Hamlin's going to win the Hollywood, well, the, the Hollywood Casino 400. I'm not sure if that's still called the name for this race. I think it's, it still is going to be, but I'm picking Denny Hamlin, my favorite driver, to win this Kansas race. The second Kansas race in the playoff, Kansas race, it's playoff, Kansas playoff race as well. And guys, Talladega, my pick for the second Talladega race, the fall playoff race, is going to be Alex Bowman. I feel like this is going to be a Hendrick sweep this year. Um, Yeah, guys, Alex Bowman. I picked Alex Bowman to be in the playoffs, but yeah, Alex Bowman, in this in this exact race um, last year, Alex Bowman was up front contending for, the, for that restart. So, yeah, so that's why I feel like I'm having confidence because Alex Bowman has finished second in, at Talladega before in the 2019 Geico 500. I feel like this is going to be a this is going to be a race where anything can happen, and I think Alex Bowman. You can you kind of kind can you kind of say he's an underdog? Like I feel like we can see a guy getting their first win of the season, and this is where I'm where I'm picking Alex Bowman. So Alex Bowman's going to get break through a long winless streak. He's going to win at Talladega Super Speedway. So Alex Bowman is my pick. And then race number 32 at the Charlotte Roval. I'm picking Michael McDowell. The guy has a really good road course racing experience. And I feel like this is going to be a race where Fords are going to stroll their strength. I feel like it's going to be Michael McDowell and Joey Logano up there. Um, yeah, but I'm picking Michael McDowell to break through and get technically another upset win. And this will be a, and Michael McDowell, I didn't pick him to make the playoffs this year, but kind of like AJ Allmendinger last year where he won the Charlotte Roval race. This is where I'm going to pick Michael McDowell here. I'm picking McDowell. has a really good road course racing experience. And yeah, Michael McDowell, he's my pick to win the Roval. And coming off at Las Vegas, William Byron. This is going to get his third win of the season. Has it once at Talladega in April. And I'm picking Byron here. I feel like he's going to have a tremendous speed at this racetrack, and William Byron's going to put on another good performance to get his third win of the season. And then race number 434, Homestead, Miami. I gotta go with Kyle Larson. The guy has had tremendous speed. This is Larson's house. 
this is where I think he's going to get redemption. He's going to break through and get that first, or, well, get this second Homestead Miami win of his career. He's won this race back in 2022, dominated it in one, and I'm thinking this is going to be exactly what happened. He's going to have tremendous speed, going to be using that high line. Larson, Larson's a favorite to win this race, in my opinion. So, yeah. So, race number 34, Homestead Miami, is going to be Kyle Larson. And then, guys, race number 35, the second Martinsville race. I'm going with Martin Truex Jr., guys. Something just tells me Truex Jr. is going to have a... If, if Truex, this is, if this will be Truex's final year, this might be Truex's last season. I'm not... I don't know for sure, but Truex, man, this is a driver that has, has going to be... It's going to be really consistent when it comes to speed this year. Not, I don't think he's going to break through and get many wins, but I feel like this year for Martin Truex Jr., he might get, he's going to get some top 10s. I am making him to make the, get the playoffs. I am going to, I am going to put, I did pick him to make the playoffs this year, but it's going to be hard for him to get wins, in my opinion, for this year. But he has the time, he has the speed, he has the equipment to do it. But I don't think he's going to get that first win until late in the year at Martinsville, guys. And yeah, guys, so Truex Jr., he's going to be my pick to win the, um, the, the second to last race of the season. And I know this has been a wild card a wild card pick because I don't think Truex has had top five. Well, I think he finished in the top five in this in the spring race, but yeah, I think that's going to be trans. It's going to look over to the fall race because I think he did in the fall race had a good car. It's just if Truex doesn't make any mistakes, I feel like he can win this race. So yeah, Truex Jr. He was my pick to win the second to last race of the season, and then my pick to win the Phoenix race is the guy who started the season with a win and is going to end the season with a win. Chris Buescher will get his third win of the 2024 season and will end off the season with the win. Started off the season with the win and ending the season with the win. So, yeah, and he did show speed in this exact race, in this exact race last year. So, yeah, guys, Chris Buescher is my pick to win this last race of the season. And, yeah, guys, that is it for my winner's prediction.